go ahead and cut a rectangle of your bust measurement minus two inch from whatever you have for example mine is 34 if i minus two inch i'll be left with 32 32 divided by four and uh, we have eight inch so i'm just marking the mark of eight inch after doing so i'm going to connect it with a straight line and now the next measurement we need to put in here is the measurement we took in between our bra straps which was 10 inch 10 inch divided by 2 will give me 5 inch 5 plus 1 inch of sewing allowance all together will be 6 mark it up and you come at the straight line you mark 4 inch downward after doing so we're going to connect it with a 6 inch that we marked before just like so come to the side seams you're going to mark five and a half inch upward when we are done marking that we're going to cut it up connecting it like so When we are done cutting, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open our piece up and mark one inch from here, one inch from here. Connect it with a straight line. Just like so. We're going to fold it. Yeah, I have the lining and the main piece. Fold it. And you measure from the folded edge, half inch of allowance. Connect it with a straight line. And we're going to stitch it up. Pin it and we're going to stitch it as well. We're going to do the same thing with the other remaining piece. So here is what it looks like. And now the next thing we need to do is, since we don't want the armpit to be open, we're going to stitch like this, just about half inch. You do the same thing with the other piece as well. Remember to back this when you start. So, as you can see here is what you, we have right now and I also went ahead to press it up. We went to just put it like so and pin it up. Make sure we put all the stitches together and the right side fetching each other. Continue pinning it. Before we go ahead and stitch this, we are going to cut a, a straps of 83 long two strap of that and fold it just about half inch and you press it up. Fold it again the second time. Press it up. And after doing this, we're just going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch it up.
now we're going to put it here and pin it up and make sure you put it at the center of those line right there pin that up Going to stitch it. We are going to start stitching from the second duck that we created. So the center is going to be open, it's going to be left open, so we'll be able to turn the top. Continue session till you reach to the end of the top. When we are done with the top, the next thing we need to do is we need to cut a rectangle of our underboss measurement. That's the underboss you're supposed to multiply it by two by before cutting it because since we're going to be using gather for it you need uh, at least two times your underboss of the length the length of the skirt of your choice mine is 25 inch long Turn it up and press that up. So this is the piece of the, that's the skirt length. The skirt piece, we'll be needing two of this. That's your underboss multiplied by two. You'll be needing two. One for the front and one for the back. Set your machine at the longest stitch. Later on, we're going to pull it. You're going to gather it to half of your underboss measurement, okay? So the front is going to be half of your underboss and the back is going to be half of the underboss. That will make all together around your underboss. What I did right here is I just went ahead and mark one and a half from the top part because we need to fold it in and in to create the elastic casing. So you're going to do the same thing and mark it and I connect that with a straight line. After which we pin that up, we're going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch that.
so now we are done uh, stitching that up we are going to cut your elastic one quarter of your under boss because this is going to go for the back piece put a safety pin in a safety pin sorry and you're going to pass it through the elastic uh, casing hole till you get to that other end when you get to the other end you make sure you pin that up to hold it so the elastic will go inside so as you can see I've gotten to the end I'm just going to pin the elastic right here like this and we're going to stitch that as well do the same thing so we are done stitching it up so you can see and now we are going to join, join the two side seams of the top the front and the back pattern while uh, right side facing the, each other after pinning it up we are going to take it to the sewing machine and just stitch it up Here, if you notice the downer part is a little bit longer, that's because of the, the back that we folded one inch and one end. That's half inch and half inch. But later on, you could trim that up. Just stitch it till you get to the end. After which, we stitch the two sides in. We're going to join the skirt to the top. So now what we're going to do is we are going to remove our pins and we'll be joining the top to the skirt. We're going to turn to the right side of the skirt. So you mark the sensor from those two dark. Here and we'll do the same thing with the skirts, just mark the center for the front. I'm going to connect those two center together and pin it up. Like this. Going to continue pinning till you get to that's half of your under bust that's just the front piece okay and you make sure when you're sewing you go through it a bit by bit all right just take your time go through it a bit by bit you stitch the front and let her run we're going to simply turn it. You're going to see what I'm talking about after which we've done stitching the first. Remove your paints. Cut any extra threads you have there. Okay, 
you could go ahead and trim the that's the gather excess that is remaining there but i'm going to leave it like that guys so as you can see the inside is very 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 neat very beautiful and one thing we're going to do now we're just going to place this online and pin that up to get to the end after which we've done uh, pinning it we're just going to take it to the machine and sew it very carefully for it to be neat as possible and later on we hem the downer part of the skirt and we are ready to put it on Just take your time, go through it a bit by bit, okay? Because you need the front to be very, very neat and look professional. So just take your time a bit by bit and go through it. You're going to achieve a neat cleaning stitch. We're going to continue stitching till we get to the end of the the end to the other side of the dress. I'm just taking my time to stitch that up, okay? So as you can see, this is what it looks like. We're going to press that up, cut any extra thread hanging around. From this two inch here, you're going to fold one inch, one inch inwards, like so. I just uh, pin it, and you're going to take it and just stitch from the two uh, here. Now we're going to just for the down nap side of the skirt we're going to fold one in is half in and half in we're going to stitch that and we are done with the dress i'm so 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 excited i can't wait to put this on guys it's so so beautiful i hope you guys love this tutorial do not forget to like comment share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't thank you guys for watching and see you on my next project bye bye thank you guys so much for being here with me and i'm really so super super exciting to share this lovely project with you guys